Hello guys, this is Matrix Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. We're going to be doing some frame rate tests, and also show you the best settings for Kingdom Hearts 1. Alright, so with this game, we are using large frame buffer. As you see, our custom resolution, bilinear forced, 16 times anisotropic filtering, zero mip, uh, off mip mapping, don't know why I said zero. Uh, full safest and configure hacks. We are using 16 times MSAA. Now, 16 times MSAA is extremely demanding and definitely not recommended for games that you may not know that will run well. Now, since it's Kingdom Hearts 1, this game actually runs brilliant at 16 times MSAA. So I'll, I'll discuss it when I'm playing the game. We are using FXAA, which blows off the edges as well. And now we've got. Uh, this hack we are using MTVU, which is definitely not needed. It is needed for using 16x MSAA, but for this game, if you have it off, you don't need it at all. It's a hack that speeds up, you know, the game. Like if you leave the game locked at um, at the target frame rate, which is 30, it says 60 here, but the game targets the 30 frames, and I'll show you because it's a PS2 game. The PS4 version that just got released. Got to look right over there. Uh, it runs at 60 frames, which is very nice. Uh, but anyway, this is about the PS2 version. You do not need this hack on at all. It's not relevant for this game, but I'm using it just because I want to, and I want to show you guys how consistent it looks at 16 times MSAA. Let's get into the game. All right, so... All right, hit this game. It's doing this again. Ignore that. Um, the game targets... 512 by 447, which is not cor not correct at all. It actually targets 448. It's one. This is missing one pixel for some reason. But yeah, 512 by 447 apparently. Now um, let's have a quick look. I'm not actually in this area, so what I'm going to do is load my state. We're, as you see, I'm actually at Sethiroth real quick. And this is not a great example on testing at frame rate in this small area versus a boss because it you can't really test it here. But I'll show you guys anyway with 16 times MSAA. Now, this is native PS2, as you see. The dimensions are right here. Now, this is what the game looks like. Now, as I mentioned before in my settings, I am using bilinear forced. It's because this game actually um, has a weird... This game uh, has a weird sort of like texture filtering on the HUD. Now, if you have it on bilinear PS2, which is for every game I use it on, it actually makes this game's HUD look blocky. So you see my character's uh, HUD down on the bottom right. It actually makes everything look blocky, but we'll go on native 1440p and we'll show you how clean this looks. Now, as you see, this is native 1440p on hardware mode. I'm using 16x MSAA with 1440p here, and it looks very, very nice. There is no jaggies whatsoever on my screen. Now, my Keyblade is very, very, um, like, you know, there's like a lot of little edges on the uh, Keyblade, and it's like very little to no aliasing. You won't see it on the video because it's hard to see. YouTube compresses it. And so does Vidme, they compress it as well. Um, yeah, so it's hard. I could see it, but you guys won't be able to see it unless if you really like, put your eyes on the screen. But uh, it's very, very nice anyway. If you look at the stair steps, there's like barely no aliasing at all either, if not none. Um, by the way, my health or my HUD, you know, on the bottom right, should be that way for you guys. It's actually got a weird um, gap in the, in the health and the MP. Hey, I'll show you an MP real quick. There you go, you can see a bit better now. So there's a weird gap. I don't understand why it's doing that on hardware mode. But anyway, as you see, the HUD looks... Pr it is blurred off. It doesn't look anywhere near good to the PS4 version. Or even the PS3 version. But it's there, and um, if you use bilinear PS2, it looks very blocky, and it's kind of unattractive. Uh, there's a weird line on the attack bar as well. But if you're someone that doesn't really care about those gaps, you can enjoy the game how it is. You can adjust the settings to how I've got it, and it looks really nice. Now, as you see, the frame rate does say 60, but the game targets 30. If you've been looking at this video this whole time, you know, paying attention at the frame rate, I've been running around. You can actually clearly see that it runs 30. It does not run at 60 at all. But if I use my frame counter on the top right uh, for to see if there's any drops. Now, there's not even a 59 FPS drop at all, so it hasn't even dropped a frame yet, even a 16 times MSAA. Let's have another look at um, software mode. Yeah, software mode holds up really well as well. There's no drops at all. Even if you're in the most demanding area in the game, which I can't even think of the most demanding area in this game, it does not drop a frame. Every single area in this game literally does not drop a frame at all. So you're going to actually end up playing a very good version of um, Kingdom Hearts on here on the PCSX2. 
I am using nat um, the native. I am using PCSX2 1.5.0 December version, which is uh, quite a recent one. Uh, it's April right now, so yeah, it's five months old. Anyway, this is pretty much Kingdom Hearts 1 on the PCSX2. Holds up really well. There's nothing to complain about. The only thing you have to change it to is bilinear P uh, forced, and that's pretty much it. If you can stand blocky huds, then go for it. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching.